Hi, my name is Kimberly McLean, and I am the consultant here with Sisters in Crime for the Equity Project. And today I want to talk to you about diversity, literally just what the word means. So we can define diversity as variety or the state of being diverse, having some variety within our community, within our products. It literally just means variety. It can also mean the practice or quality of including or involving people from a range of different social ethnic backgrounds, different genders, different sexual orientations. So when we talk about diversity, what we mean is how are we bringing people with different lived experiences, different perspectives, different points of view uh, into the fold with us. There can be a real comfort with human beings to want to be with folks that are like-minded, that are very much like us, that move through the world and that feel familiar to us. However, we know that organizations that have more complex diversity tend to function better, tend to be more successful in their outreach, in their creativity, in the bottom line. So it's really important that at Sisters in Crime, we start to think about how to be more diverse, not only within our writing and within our chapters, but just within our own perspectives. So one of the ways that you can do this that is really easy, low hanging fruit, is that if you're on social media, if you watch TV, if you watch movies, if you read books, you can start to intentionally curate some more diverse perspectives. So for example, I often will watch TV shows and movies that I know I am not the target demographic for, but I wanna understand and I wanna get a sense of what other people care about, what is important, what other groups are talking about, especially when I think about younger people. I'm so out of the loop in so many ways that watching shows that are meant for younger people than me can sometimes help me to think about and understand and appreciate what might be important to people that are different than me. I also am very conscientious about following on social media, people that are part of the LGBTQI community, and also thinking about different ways that I can be exposed to different values and perspectives. Whether or not I agree with them doesn't matter. My job is simply to think about whose voices are missing from my experience. What do I wanna understand and how do I wanna understand it? So I hope this helps and I can't wait to hear and see who you decide to follow and what media you choose to consume that might be different. Thank you.